He's waking up. He was actually up again. He was actually up a while back. His mind was just kind of feeling like mush. He just never really got going. He did spend some time on that television, though. And his phone. Just casually looking things up. On the TV, he watched stuff from a few different channels and just like felt like he was going nowhere again. And he pulled up the Netflix app. On the TV still, I mean. And even just like going through the menus for the most part, he noticed something. It seemed like all the minority-based content, like the shows and the movies that were, you know, mostly minority cast, whatever, uh, the stand-up comedy, too, their main themes, regardless of the genre, were about their relationship to the majority. Like, mostly about that without coming up with any alternate themes, still. I mean, that bothered him a little. On his phone, he went through some... Anyway, um, I was saying on his phone, uh, he, um, he went through some, uh, some activist websites. Basically, in his conversation with Mark last night, at some point he asked, like, what sort of things, like, you know, what sort of, uh, content, like, the enlightened, uh, New Yorker might consume. And he actually proceeded to, like, write the stuff down. So this morning he listened to like public radio for a while. He watched, you know, the, the at least the trailers to a few documentaries and previewed some podcasts that are apparently popular. And he actually listened to all of one of them about the difficulty in changing people's minds. Presumably tangential or you know, with a nod to their current political divisiveness here. Anyway, he seemed to be you know, very disappointed by all of it, generally. He can't believe he went by there last night. We forgot to check Craigslist again and eBay, just to see if the guy tried to list the laptop. He's going to grab his phone. He's just going to sit on the window side there. No oh, wait, he's got a message from Simmy. Any luck? Question mark. Jeez. Got to say something back. Not to get our hopes up too much here. Okay. I know these long messages are your favorite part. It's exciting, I know. Okay. A little, but it's complicated, trying to uh, go back. We've got the location, location, but I don't know how to get to it before security has to wipe it. Still trying, though. Maybe a fingers crossed emoji or something? I oh, forget it. It's, it's sent. Oh, this is breaking my heart, he's thinking. He never emailed that guy, Kellen, the IT guy. All right, you know what that means. Another message. Here we go. Brace yourself. Hey, Kellen. 
I went to the location of the laptop last night. Unfortunately, it's a high rise. But I was able to use the other antennas to find what I believe is the exact apartment. How much more time do I have before you have to wipe it? Question mark. Is it possible to get a little more? Question mark. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Okay, that should be good. Kids. More than one. Must have been thinking about that all day. Just hearing what he heard when he walked by that door. Definitely sounded like somebody's playing with their kids. I mean, who knows what was going on inside there, you know, but for some reason, it kind of pisses him off. He's getting a message. Assholes won't give me my money back because I admitted to sleeping in there. Oh, boy. Fine. Sucks. Sorry. Found out exactly where my laptop is, but I'm not sure how to get it. Send. He hasn't eaten enough today. Hello? Hey, Aaron. What's going on? Well, basically, it's got a tracking system on it. So for at least a while, you're able to track where it goes on an app, more or less. So last night, I was actually able to go by the place after, uh, after I hung out with your friend Mark. No, it's just me. So I get to a location, and it's a huge apartment building, of course, on the East River. I think it is, or condos or whatever, whatever, I don't know, I can't, honestly, I don't know what's, what's condos and what's public housing around here, it all looks the same to me. Anyway, long story short, I was actually able to use the system to figure out exactly which unit the laptop is in. No, I didn't go in there. How's that going to work? Okay, well, you know, I guess that's the difference between you and me. Ben Mark and his friend and his wife and everybody but me, I guess, apparently. <clears throat> and that, and I, I wear sensible shoes, and you don't. Well, I assume, uh, yeah, I mean, eventually, I, I guess I'll end up calling the police. But it gets complicated, because, see, if I call the police and they actually get the guy, I mean, who, who's to say they won't just confiscate the laptop as evidence? In fact, I, I assume that's probably what happens. I mean, I mean, I don't know how that stuff works, but something tells me they're not just gonna like hand the laptop back to me and just let me go on my way. Anyway, the problem with that is that the laptop is gonna get wiped. Like the information on the laptop is gonna get wiped remotely from back home pretty soon. Like all the information I mean, it will be gone. Unless I can get my hands on, basically. Normally, it actually wouldn't be that big of a deal, but just bad luck. Long story short, there's some stuff on there that I, I really need to have back. I mean, my colleague's honeymoon pictures are on there, and she doesn't have a backup. I don't know.
to go back over there? For me, anyway. Well, yeah, I mean, if I had a badge and a gun, yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. All right, well, thanks. Okay, see you. He got an email while he was on the phone. He's gonna check that. Sorry, they can't extend it anymore. Shit. Eight hours is all you have. He's walking, just to walk, really to think. Two kids. It's really getting to him, as you can see. This asshole's just having a grand old time playing with his kids. And he has none. Two to nothing, basically. I mean, obviously, it's not that simple. I mean, you know, whatever. Thieves are all over the place. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. And, you know, thieves have families, too. There's just something about when you see firsthand someone steal something and you're worth some cash to them, but arguably priceless of yours. And you just clock out and go back home for dinner like it's nothing. So wrong. He's getting a little like flustered. Stay with me for a second. See, like he he's remembering like getting a knot in his stomach like every time he reads about some settlement in an intellectual property case or like you know some kind of white collar crime or something. And there's no amount of money that can replace what was stolen. He didn't steal my car or my wallet or you know million dollars you stole my future opportunity is what you stole you stole my opportunity to have kids he's thinking that part of it never comes up the way it should she's not sure why that's acceptable It's not.